Hey guys, well, let's try this again. I was trying to hit a gnat and it was just so loud. I was like, I'm gonna hurt somebody's ears doing that. So I can't do that. So I decided to start over. But we're gonna be coloring. <laughs> we're gonna be coloring out of Christmas florals from Creative Haven and it is by Jessica Mazurkowicz. And I was trying to work on this page before I was rudely interrupted by that bug. <sighs> I'll get it. Let's try this again. We got one ornament left and I was using olive green. Now my stupid marker won't oh, come off. Uh, I'm down here, thank you. <clears throat> but, like I was saying before, there's a game that I've been wanting for a little bit now. Um, I had it once before. It was for the PlayStation 3. And it is The Last of Us. <clears throat> it is just a great game. I love it. Um, I'm going to do this ribbon like a bright red but I love that game let me see about the reds I'm probably gonna do scarlet where is it scarlet right there it's pretty bright and I want to do these berries dark so we'll use scarlet that is 13 okay but anyway, yes, I love that game, and it is coming out on the PC in March, which I got really excited because PC is like the only thing that I really play on, so I got excited. <laughs> And then, um, also in March, is when I will be getting my little leopard gecko friend. I'm very excited about that. This will be the first reptile that I've ever had. I've done so much research. So, I think... I'm well prepared, well, knowledge-wise, I'm well prepared. Um, Cage-wise, like the enclosure, I have that. Um, And let's see. Hmm. Mm. That might be it. Like I know what I'm gonna feed it. Um like, I know everything that I need to have, but right now, the only thing that I do have is the enclosure itself. And I bought it from the owners at my store at work because I'm not passing up that kind of deal. I got a 20 gallon tank, um, like a fish tank. You can keep your reptiles in a fish tank or you can buy like a terrarium, which I don't have that kind of money right now. And on Amazon, those things are like $200. I was like, hmm, I wonder if the owners of my store have one that they could sell me. 
So I asked uh, one of the owners and she told me to take a picture of the tank that I wanted. I missed an ornament. Uh, take a picture of the tank that I was wanting and send it to her husband, which is the other owner, and see what he said, like how much he wanted. And he said $20, $20 for a 20 gallon tank. And I was like, I'm not passing that up. I will have the money for you tomorrow. <laughs> and I did, I did. But um, I called because the, neither of them were there that day. So I called um, one of the owners and asked her what she wanted me to do with the money because I had it with me, I had it on me that day. And she said that they talked about it and they would just take it out of my next paycheck. And I was like, mm, that works for me. <laughs> so, yeah. I was pretty happy about that. Like, really. Because a 20 gallon tank is pretty big and that is the minimum requirement uh, the minimum requirement for space that a leopard gecko can have and it was the only thing really that um, that I saw that looked really nice like um the tank itself, it has um, wood around the edges of the top and the bottom. And it is just really nice. It is a really nice tank. And they had um, hamsters in it before they sold it to me. I don't know how long ago that was, but that tank probably has been in that room for months. It's still dirty, but I mean, that's that's not gonna kill me. Like, I can clean it, so I'm not worried about that. I'm definitely gonna clean it really well, just in case the hamsters were sick, which, I guarantee they were not. Actually, I can't. I can't guarantee that, but they probably were not. They probably sold the hamsters and put the tank up because they didn't need it. And if they would have needed it, they would not have sold it to me. So... I'm just grateful that the owners are so nice and they're really easy to get along with. As long as you do your job, they're happy. I missed another ornament. But I do my job. So that makes them happy. I'm skipping these areas up here because I want to make them darker. Because that's like the inside of the bow.
I'm I'm just very excited about next Saturday. Next Saturday is Christmas Eve. I cannot believe it is that close already. And Christmas Eve is when my family open presents. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, some of us are going to meet at Cracker Barrel to exchange gifts. We're gonna go and eat and we will exchange gifts. What is under me? Stupid piece of paper. <laughs> but yeah, we did that last year as well. We went out to eat and um, gave each other's gifts. I usually get something that I don't want, but that's okay, you know? It's honestly the thought that counts. So, you know. But it'll be my aunts, both of my aunts, my uncle, my other aunt, who is related to me by marriage which she's she's still my aunt so I don't care um probably well one of my cousins don't know about my other two cousins they'll probably be at their mom's house for Christmas <clears throat> um, because my aunt and uncle divorced not long ago probably two years ago I would say maybe three but let's see hmm My dad, obviously, that's, that's my ride down there. Now, unless I have to work. Now, if I have to work, I won't get to go because they're going to do it at 9 o'clock. That's usually the time of day that I work. But if I don't have to work till night, till the night time then I'll get to go, but I won't get to go to my other family's houses to do presents. Uh, one of my mamas does presents at four o'clock of an evening. The other is doing it at five. So it really just depends. My brother has to work, so <clears throat> he's definitely not going to get to be there. But we will bring his presents home, and he can open them when he gets home. Which is what I'll have to do if I have to work. Which, that's, that's okay.
went outside the line a little bit. That's okay. I'll clean it up later. <clears throat> okay, let's do these ornaments that I didn't see. But if I have to work the morning, it's okay because we usually get up at 6.30 of a morning and open just because I've always done that and I plan to continue doing that. I always get so excited and usually I cannot sleep that the night before so I usually just lay awake in my room watch a video or something and then when 6 30 hits boom get everybody out of the bed and open presents <laughs> okay so I wanted to do something darker for the other stuff I'm thinking cherry pink or like a rose red ooh I want to do cherry pink. Let's see. That's coral red. Cherry pink, number five. <clears throat> okay. But I'm excited to see the looks on my brother and my dad's face because their presents are I, I really think they'll like them um my brother especially his present was like it was close to 40 bucks originally but it was actually on sale so I got it pretty cheap uh, I got it for 20, like 27 or 21. It wasn't bad at all. I was going to get it regardless of how much it was. And then my dad's present, I got it. And it was actually on sale also. I was going to get me a little something but I was like, mm, you probably shouldn't because you have to let your parents get your stuff. <sighs> like my mom and dad, they can't buy stuff because I'm always buying things. So they're like, you know what? No more buying stuff until the holidays are over. And I was like, well, but after the holidays, I'm definitely going to buy stuff. I'm going to buy those Ohuhu markers for the channel to review and use for you guys. I'm definitely going to do a whole swatch video of them. I just like doing swatch videos. I really do. I've actually already got a color chart typed up for them. And I've never seen the colors. So I just went off of like the names, really. But if you go to Ohuhu's site, they have like a little color chart thing. And I don't think those colors are, like, as accurate as they would be if they were in person, like, swatched in person. So, um, it's not cheating, really, because I've never seen the actual colors in person. So... Probably the same day that I review them, I'll probably end up doing a color and chat as well. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. We got a few little berries down here. wish you would go away. <sighs> Let's see. I am going to get a new book probably tomorrow if I can. Um, it'll be a digital coloring book like the PDFs that you can print. Um, and I'm gonna try to get, stop. I'm gonna try to get um, a color by number. The um, Christmas color by number book by Jade Summer. Their books are just really good, so I can just print one of those off and just color away. Let's see, there's a few little berries over here. We may not get the whole tree done on camera but as soon as I get the page done, I will post it on in my Instagram. I didn't even color this bow down here. What is wrong with me? Okay. Almost done with this bow. Should have been done with it already, but I didn't realize that this was down here for whatever reason.
Okay. That looks cute. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and do the tree. I want to do this emerald green. And all these little spines. Jesus. Uh, like the end of this isn't as pointed as I would like it. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get that looking good. gonna move my legs because they're dying <laughs> but um <clears throat> let me know in the comments like what other kinds of markers that you guys like like because I'm gonna get some oh hoo hoo let me know what other brands that I should consider. So I've heard a lot of good stuff about Ohuhu. So I just want to see what all the options are. Because I may buy another set of markers in the future to test to review for you guys. Also, let me know if you guys liked the uh, gecko coloring sheet video. Because if not, then I'd, I'll stop doing the animal fact stuff and I will keep that on the animal channel when I get my gecko <clears throat> or if you found it fascinating and like it was good advice then let me know if you liked it because I can do more of them if you guys want to see that But yeah, I just wish this tip on this marker was a little bit sharper so that I could do it better. Like how these ribbons look. They look pretty good. Because the tip one the tip of that marker was a little bit sharper. Stop it. Jeez. 
bugs will not go away. Gnats are so annoying. Like I'm trying to be as precise as I can with these, but the marker tip is not cooperating, right? Okay. It is looking pretty good, I think, so far. I'm not gonna be able to get all these little needles done. But again, you will see this posted on my Instagram when it is completed. And my Instagram is at the beginning of the video usually it will be at the end of my intro Almost. <laughs> In every video, it's like one of these little morons just flies around me. Get off of my marker. It's the most annoying thing ever. By the end, I hope this thing looks better. And it doesn't look too great right now, but hopefully it'll turn out a lot better. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop with the needles for now. And I'm gonna do one of these flowers. That looks like a rose, maybe. Which I could use rose red. It's a little bit different than cherry pink, so that's good. Gotta have your Christmas colors in there. And the roses do that pretty good.
have. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> and then I'll use some vivid green on some of these leaves here. Oh, this one's very, oh geez. This tip is very frayed. So it's going to be a little trickier to get this one to look better. Let's see, I want to use walnut for the pine cone. Okay, that looks good actually. I like that pine cone. Uh, there's a few down at the bottom, but I'll worry about those later. <clears throat> hmm, let's see. Let's do one of these presents. I think I want to do that one. Let's do some turquoise blue snowflakes if we can because it'll be a little bit tricky It seems to be working out okay. But, um, what are your guys, what are, what are you guys doing for the holidays this year? Like I said, <clears throat> some of us are meeting at Cracker Barrel to eat and exchange presents. And then we're gonna be opening presents here uh, at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, my phone is dying. But we're gonna be opening presents at like 6.30 in the morning. And then, um, Plug that up. Okay. Alright. And then 
we're gonna go to my mama's house. Well, one of my mama's houses. Let's see. Hmm. Um, let's use Surreal and Blue. But we're going to her house. And then after that, we will go to my other mama's house to open presents down there. And then we're just going to come home and relax because it'll be a long day and it'll be a long day if I have to work which we'll probably close early anyways for Halloween we closed at like 5 and they told me not even to come in to work that day You know, they just, they told me <laughs> just to go home or to stay home that day. And I was already like, I was already almost there. I was at a traffic light right before I turned onto the road to get there. <clears throat> and then they text and they're like, oh, you don't need to come in today. We're, we haven't been busy today. And I'm like well I'm already here but okay <laughs> so we dad had to run into Walmart anyways <clears throat> so um, we went to Walmart and then we came out and I got a pumpkin pumpkin delight from McDonald's it was really good that day and yeah we went we went back home and did nothing let's see I want to do hmm could we do like a purple No, let's do, hmm, let's see, what do you look like? Probably not much, yeah, you're just alcohol. Let's do mint green light. And then when we're done, I'll wrap up the video. But like I said before, when I get my gecko, I will show you guys what it looks like. And yeah, I will most likely start a new channel just for my gecko, like mostly care and stuff like that like testing products like reptile products and stuff like that um yeah i'm really excited so i actually dreamed that i got my gecko this morning like i was dreaming about having my gecko already It was a good dream. Okay. Gotta take it slow so that I don't mess up my box.
Got to get all these little crevices of the snowflakes without turning them green. Ah, I got the leaf. I have to fix that dang leaf before I get off. Before I pause, stop the video. Get out vivid green again. Okay. All right. So. We got quite a bit done here today. And like I said, I will finish this off camera and post a picture on my Instagram. Didn't bleed through too bad. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.